we are at our wedding venue and we're going to do some food tasting today. I'm really excited. So we've kind of picked a sort of a proposed set menu. So we're going to try that, a three course meal. We have different meals each um, so that we can try each other. So yeah, I'm really excited for this bit because we're big foodies and it's so nice to be back at our wedding venue and it's getting closer and closer to the day. I'm really, really excited. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> wine and then the one over here is our champagne this uh the way that the soil is is apparently basically like an english champagne but we're not in france so you can't call it champagne but it's really nice cheers alex is driving so you can't have too much <laughs> <laughs> big mistake that is actually lovely i'm not a champagne drinker at all i'm a spirits girl but both of those are really nice We've got an amuse-bouche to start. It is cauliflower soup with herb oil. Cream of cauliflower <laughs> with herb oil. Thank you so much. And it's warm and it smells really, really good. Let's dig in. And you can drink it like it's tea. <laughs> I forgot I didn't pick up my spoon because it's a little cup. I was I went like this. <laughs> I saw Alex using the spoon. I was like, God, got to remember we're in a classy establishment. <laughs> oh. It's really, really nice. What do you think so far? I liked it. Yeah, it's really tasty. This is the acacia tree wine. White wine? I don't know what it goes with. <laughs> what does it go with? I can't remember. Oh. It's nice, it's really smooth. Yeah, we're totally gonna get you into wine. I know, she was like, are you guys wine connoisseurs? And we were like, definitely not <laughs> happy with whatever. <laughs> but it's nice because we can select some of these for our guests, our tables, our own top table, like whatever we see fit really, or whatever we think suits the meals that we try today. I've got the salmon to start and then a pickpull wine. I will put the correct names on the screen. Um, and this is a really citrusy wine, which should complement my dish. Alex has got the spiced smoked duck. What? Mm. I didn't even see that. With salad as well, <laughs> avocado, beans, etc. That looks so scrumptious. Mm. Smells amazing. That looks amazing. Right, let's tuck in. I've got to say, my salmon comes with caviar, and I think it. Naturally, I think there's some sort of cream cheese potato, but I can't remember. It's incredible. It's light, it's like the perfect starter that you'd want. Really light and refreshing, delicious. And try the wine as well. you know that'll be a top table wine that's nice i mean i'm not a wine like it's good in it i'm not a wine connoisseur but you can smell the difference you can taste the difference but it's still again there's nothing heavy on the tongue it's, it's really refreshing that's glorious that's really good it's my turn to try the smoked duck lightly spiced smoked duck with salad and i can smell it already it smells incredible what do you think it's nice I mean, I'm not a huge fish person, but I'd be happy. I'd be happy in this. I love duck. Oh, I've got the spice, the kick. It's like a chili, isn't it? Yeah, I wonder who's going to have more. Uh, if we if we had both. Mm. What is this? Is this mango? Maybe. It's something free. I think it is mango. It tastes really nice. Mm. Oh, all the flavors just complement each other beautifully. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. That was the first thing <laughs> the lady said to us. She was like, I've done a lot of weddings, so I think I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I agree. 
I agree. This is the best day for us, isn't it? This is like the best <laughs> day. <amazing. laughs> Boozy. Um, Alex has just said that he really likes the pick ball and he's like, let's get a bottle today and take it home. We are not wise. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're nearly converts. <laughs> oh, mind you, those, those are all Zara's glasses yeah. and these are mine. <laughs> so. <laughs> and he's the one driving. <laughs> Like, Shh, don't tell them that. that. <laughs> so this, I don't know if I said already, but this is going to be our welcome drinks. This, because uh, that's what they supply themselves, and then this will be our toast. <laughs> Sorbet. So we are having a summer wedding, and she was saying this would be really refreshing for our guests. So we got raspberry. What did she say this was? Mango, Mango and lemon. And it's vegan, so really nice for everybody to have. Sorbet's lovely. Mango's nice. It's got almost like a mango texture. Do you know what I mean? That's really good. Like, it's not like... Um, yeah, I get you. It, it It's like the flesh of the mango. Yeah. It's like having the actual mango itself. It's, it's just cold. It's literally a frozen mango. Yeah. That's really, Thanks. really nice. Thanks for the help. What do you think? Lemon and mango. Mango, because it's quite nice, and it's a nod to, to like my tradition, like um, Jamaica. But that lemon one is really refreshing. When would you have that then in between courses? So you'd have it now, yeah? In between your starting your That's menu. nice, like a so palate cleanser. Yeah, cleanser. That's awesome. That's really, really nice. Clearly you can't take me anywhere. But these are nice. Raspberry's nice, but my favourite's definitely mango for the culture. And then lemon as a real palate cleanser between courses. Okay, people, this wasn't me this time. This was her. So we've got reds now. Merlot. Malbec. Pinot Maybe. Noir, Melbeck, and she was even telling us how to try it so that we can really get the different flavours. Alex has got the Merlot. <laughs> Definitely wine. <laughs> Tried Merlot as well. Pinot Noir. If I'm doing it correctly, this is a lot drier than that one. Pinot Noir is also less nice expensive. It's just not my cup of tea. I prefer the. We were both saying that we prefer the white wines to the reds. It's interesting because I thought I was a red wine. I haven't got a long nose. I haven't got a stem nose that can get right in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's more like, flavours. Like Honka. Mm. Okay, now we're into the real stuff. This is pork belly with apple mash, butternut squash puree, and shallots. I've got my reds, my whites, and champagne. Alex has got the chicken, corn-fed chicken, regular mash. Roasted veg, really nice jus or gravy there as well. And he's pretty much finished his plonk, but <laughs> I need to get through all of oh, mine. Nice. Sorry so guys, I'm views. filming on my phone as well, so absolutely gorgeous. I'm mixing all of my flavours together. Nice. Let's go ahead go. Oh my god. Mm. It's lovely on its own, like this pork is absolutely stunning. It's got like a real nice, not pure crackling, but really nice crispy mm. top. Ooh. But with the apple mash. What apple mash? Apple mash. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's another level. We might just like ring mm. the mash is good, so. It melts in the mouth. It's really good. Half and half, if I can manage it. Oh, yeah. As oh, in, yeah. if I can manage to hold my pork back. You hold back. Show some restraint. <laughs> like, have they just, like, cooked it perfectly because of today? Or have they cook it perfectly all the time? Yeah, they're perfect cooks. Mmm. What do you think it's about so this? good. I love this. The wine and the meals are so nice. This is my favourite one, about? the like citrusy one. What do you think? I'm trying the chicken now. 
Alex said he really loved the chicken. So we're kind of debating whether or not we... Because some, some weddings you go to, and this is all completely up to you, but you have a choice. You can say, oh, guests choose between these two meals, or you just turn up and you get what you get. So it's completely up to you, and that's what we're kind of trying to figure out today with the tasting. But everything we've both picked to taste, we both really, really like individually. But we also re uh, respect that there are quite distinct differences. Like, not everyone loves salmon, like, at all. So it might be nice to give people the option. We're just trying to kind of figure that out and how that will sit inside the wedding. Mm. It's good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. What are these? Okay. Mushrooms. Mm. Mm -hmm. My baby said in the car that mm -hmm. she would eat mushrooms. Yeah, I'm not usually a mushroom cow, but... You know how your taste buds do change every time? Like I used to hate olives and now I really like them. I basically think we're just gonna, everything we're, we're, we're trying today, we're gonna have on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, and Alex is like, we are taking home a bottle of wine. We're gonna smash out that wine <laughs> and we're gonna go <laughs> dancing. <laughs> uh, uh, wine comes out. <laughs> We need to do like wine tastings before the wedding so you can fully appreciate the flavours and tell everyone what we <laughs> what we think. I apologise in advance for the angles, guys, but go wolf down this food however we can. Delicious. Cheers. Cheers babe. <laughs> this is the Pinot. It's the most expensive. <laughs> Alex keeps reminding me that the Pinot is the most expensive. But then I don't think where, where is the with the wine? This is my fave. The, the, That's the why more, I've been sipping it and savouring it. The more expensive white taste. So much better. Yeah. And that's whereas what the lady the, was saying. Whereas with the red, it's not that noticeable. Pardon me. That's what the lady was saying. Like, the especially because it's like red wine is... Um, what's the word for it? Is it you let it breathe or something? So, like, the, the white wine is chilled. And you can really kind of taste immediately the differences mm. because it's kind of harder when it's like room temperature wine to taste the differences especially if you're not a wine connoisseur or been tastings before this is gorgeous this is the best day of my life until the wedding comes i'll say it at the moment <laughs> okay so i've got salted chocolate tort with cinnamon ice cream she was saying it's quite heavy typically for the summer but um this one will be really really lovely and then all of my wines that I yeah. still, I'm still yet to finish. And then Alex has got the strawberry raspberry. creme. Oh, raspberry. 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 Creme Sorry, raspberry creme brulee. Um, is that like biscotti or something next to it? I think it's, yeah, like a little biscuit yeah, thing. Yeah, really nice. So excited for the two of us to try these. Oh, look at that. Yummy. Again, I apologise for the angles. <laughs> I want to smell it. Yeah, nice. Put your cinnamon ice cream that slide in. Yeah, it did. It, it was nearly in my chest, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. And it's got, like, dark chocolate. I don't know what this is, these little crumbs. Yeah, we didn't both possess. <laughs> <laughs> we started this food tasting like, yeah, we're going to have this menu. Everyone's going to have to suck it up and eat what they <laughs> <Have> eat. The <laughs> only, nope. only exceptions for like vegans and severe allergies. But um, <laughs> now we've tried them. It's, it's incredible. The cinnamon ice cream in this just adds something really different. And this is the salted crisp. They're pretty good. Mmm. <laughs> That is stunning. Let's have a little bit of salt crisp, a little bit of that, a little bit of the ice cream. I've now got the creme brulee with the kind of biscotti. I don't know if it is, but it looks like it. Mm. Fun fact, my teeth, these, these two in the front two, are fake. Which is why I kind of chew to the side because I'm scared of chipping them because I've chipped them once already. It's what? We did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's really, really good. I have already started on my latte. <laughs> um, just to wake myself back up because I'm such a lightweight. This has been an incredible experience. Really nice. 
and we're gonna go for a walk on our grounds just to remind ourselves what our wedding venue looks like and will be like on our day. If your wedding venue doesn't offer you free coffee when you first, like when you first, 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 first come to see the venue, don't even. Right, I'm videoing in this angle because I don't want to give too much away. This venue is just the best. So we're just having a nice little walk around um, to see what our venue is like and remind ourselves and kind of walk off some of that wine. <laughs> um, and then we'll head home. <laughs> so this is the Pickpool wine that we loved so much. Citrusy. I mean, look at that bottle. It's absolutely stunning. Yes. So we'll <laughs> have some more of this this evening. <laughs> I feel like I've had too much already. <laughs>